How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massive Beer Reviews back with yet another review. A little bit of side project jams in the form of their La Fosse. This is a Missouri Wild Ale, each with apricots. Let's dive into this sucker. Did I remember a bottle opener? I know I have one. Here we go. In hand. Um, this beer comes courtesy of my boy Dusty. You, know, you remember him from the last side project jams I did. And he was kind enough to send some more off this time. So thank you very much, brother. Kind of excited to give this a whirl. Kind of curious. Because the last time I had one of these, um, what was it? Fuzzy? Might have been that he sent me. It was pretty aggressive. I mean, I did not expect it. I mean, this is a different beer. This is not that beer. But same kind of label. You know, fruit and whatnot. Um, and I'm kind of like, okay. Is this going to be as aggressive as that uh, fuzzy was? Because that was pretty aggressive. Pretty tart, pretty acidic. That looks like apricot juice. I mean, that is exactly what that looks like. Soft carbonation on it. Rich orange glow. Beautiful beer. Label-wise, great texture on the labels. Simple. Green bottle. I'm sold. So, yeah. She looks all the parts of, of like a carbonated fruit juice. Like a mimosa, almost. In a very pretty, pretty way. Yeah, let's get a nose. Okay, there's definitely like an apple cider vinegar component to this. So you assume this is going to go um, more than tart. It's going to get lactic. It's going to get a bit acidic because there's definitely like a, a vinegar note to it. But those nectarines or apricots, I should say, kind of come through. Um, it wants to get to that apricot kind of jamminess because there is a sweetness component there and it comes off very much jammy. But then you have that vinegar thing cut through it and kind of knock it off to where it's like, okay, it can't get to that sweet point because of that kind of vinegar note. And that's pretty much it. Really, that vinegar note is pretty aggressive. It's eking towards apple cider vinegar, but if you made them with apricots as opposed to apples, but it's not over the top. I can feel almost like my body preparing for heartburn, let's put it that way, but she still smells nice. We gotta dive in. Cheers. Okay. It definitely goes there. Um, it's not as vinegar as I thought it would be, but it's definitely acidic. It's definitely tart. So you're diff diff dealing with something a little bit more enamel ripping than your typical kind of everyday sour. It goes beyond funky, goes beyond tartness, and has that acidity to it. It's not getting to the point of fuzzy. Um, and it's not getting to the point of like a cascade or something like that, but it's close. I mean, it wants to be a little bit bigger, a little bit bolder. And really, once you kind of take your sep second sip, and I assume this is going to be a theme, continued throughout the beer, is that each sip you take, you acclimate a little bit more to that vinegar acidity. Those apricots start to come through, and I'm getting heartburn right now as I'm drinking this. And I pretty much haven't had. I started a new heartburn medication because I have like some crazy thing, um, and I have I have Barrett's esophagus oh, for anybody out there who wants to know. And um, and I have to take this thing, and I have had zero heartburn for over a month. Like it's been crazy. Not that I used to get it a ton, but if I drank something like this, I'd be like literally like, okay, danger, Will Robinson, a robot coming out of somewhere screaming in my face that I'm gonna die from heartburn. That new medication I'm on because I has kind of shut that shit down complete. This is like, nah, buddy. Sorry. Nothing you can do about that. You're going to get heartburn. But it's still kind of, it's not hurting me, but I can feel it coming. So it's really just a combination of that apricot cider vinegar that is kind of working. I still like it, though. I really do. Just a little bit more acidic than what I typically like out of my sour beers. But fun nonetheless. I don't know if there's a batch number on here. Uh, blend blend number three, for those uh, keeping score at home. I don't know what that date is. Maybe a Dusty or somebody out there who knows what's what can let us know uh, what it is when it comes to the kind of blend numbers and when they actually were released. But I like it. It's tasty. But and this is, these are the kind of beers I have a really hard time sitting down and kind of breaking down super in-depth for you guys. Because this is... So, I'm so, I'm so, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a simple word. I don't know why I'm not thinking of it. So affected by vinegar-based kind of beers that it really does shut down everything else. So I'm sure somebody who is kind of appreciative of that when it comes to a beer um, 
could sit here and, and kind of just see past that vinegar note and be like, oh, there's there's this in there, there's that in there. But really, it is apricot. If you were to make apple cider vinegar with apricots, that's what it tastes like to me. But it's still beer. It's still a sour beer. It's not just apple cider vinegar or apricot cider vinegar. And I could see somebody really enjoying it. I think I'm just a wrong person to really kind of dig into this beer. So it's kind of the, one of those weird ones where, where I think, and this is where I've talked about this in previous reviews, is that I can tell you a beer is good, even if I don't like it. I, and we're in that realm right now. This is a really good beer. Um, and I think people really would enjoy this beer. It's just not a beer that I enjoy. Is that wasted on me? I don't think so. Because I think you need to try everything when it comes to beer. Even beers that aren't necessarily in your comfort zone. So it's not so much that I don't like this beer. I'm going to drink this whole thing out of pure just to see where it goes over time. I'm curious about the beer in that sense. But as far as just what works for me, I like stuff that's more funky than funky to tart as opposed to tart to acidic. And, and, and that's where I kind of lose some beer. So I think it's tasty. I think it's nice. I think if you're cool with those things, you'll dig this beer. Let's cut to that chase. Cause really it's apricots and cider vinegar in sour beer and done. That's what it gets. That's what you get. That's what I get from it. And what you get from me is it one of the better sours I've had as of late for me. No, it's not. Um, but it's a good beer. It's a really good beer. It's just for me, more specifically me, this is not my kind of sour. Value availability. Uh, I think the prices are decent, especially in this sour beer crazy world. Just got to go to the brewery and get it and leave you with, if you like what we like this. If you are like those vinegar forward acidic beers, you like apple cider vinegar, you like those things, you like apricots, and you're okay with all those kind of menaging together. Like you said, for me, it's not my jam, but I can tell it's a really good beer. So if you like really good acidic forward beers, have it. There you go. A fun one. I really enjoy doing these beers that are challenging to me because I know I have to talk about it and I'm not comfortable. And that is a good thing. Um, so, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Now, down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying that nice little uh, side project beer right now. Hope to see you next time. Cheers.